Kato Living, we are getting ready for the Minnesota State Fair and the Minnesota Wine Country will be representing with Wine Haven, who is joining us now to give us a sample of some wines that we can be seeing with Wine Country. Thanks for being on today, Kyle. Oh, thanks so much. Great to be here. Hard to believe the fair is just about a week away. That's what I keep thinking no. about because we're oh. talking about how it already feels cold outside and like oh we don't my. want summertime to go away and the fair is always like a good staple of like kind of the end of summer, but a great time also to try some wines. What did you bring for us today? Well, um, we'll be at the Minnesota Wine Country building at the fair. So there's actually seven wineries from around the state that uh, are our partners there. So I brought kind of a sampling of, of wines from, from all around, including a couple of new varieties from the University of Minnesota. Just like with the honey crisp with apple, they with uh, apples they develop, they also develop grapes that are winter hardy and disease resistant for this climate. So I brought some of those. I don't know if you guys are adventurous who wanna <laughs> Will. Always adventurous. <laughs> that's the whole point of the show. One thing that's really interesting to me, talking about the fair and the wines, I didn't really expect wines to be a part of the fair. I mean, I always hear about the food and the beer, if we're talking about just like eating, for example, but wine seems kind of new to me. So what kind of is the Minnesota wine country's history, and especially with being a part of the fair? Well, the fair has a long history of celebrating Minnesota agriculture, right? And yes. grapes are a huge part of that, but even a more emerging part of it. Um, now I think there's there's several hundred vineyards in the state, and uh, I don't know, almost a hundred wineries if if you if you look around, and <laughs> um, so it's it's kind of a, something we can celebrate and how the how the industry is growing, uh, the university and others have developed grapes that will ripen in our cold or short growing season and, and survive our cold winters. And we're actually making a lot of award-winning wines here, and uh, it's it's actually a little bit of a hot spot at the at the fair. Uh, a lot of people are, are really interested. Speaking of growing, you have your son here today. What's the relationship like for you two when it comes to working with Wine Haven and kind of creating what's in front of us mm -hmm. on the table? You know, I I when I was my my son's age, I remember working with my dad and my grandfather, kind of farming, growing fruits, mm -hmm. honey in this area. And my son Hasman's now 14, and it's just it's so nice to be able to continue the tradition. Um, obviously, he doesn't get involved in the wine, but he's very heavily involved in the in the grape growing and the picking and and I, all I, the hard labor, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're young, right? You're yeah. the one that has to go in the field. And, Dad, I don't want to do this. It's hot <laughs> outside right now, right? Yeah, well, I mean, definitely it's a large part of the process. Like, how else are you going to be able to um, create something like this, especially with um, such a, like, deep-rooted history of creating wine like this? It's just sort of a family tradition that's been passed down, especially with, um, like, pitching out in the farm, for example, like, helping out. Like, I've been picking grapes since I was, like, eight or so. It's mm -hmm. been, like, every time it's been, like, harvest, I'd go over there and be picking grapes. Um, I might have eaten more grapes than I've actually picked, <laughs> but yeah, that's okay. yeah, in total, it's just like, it's a great experience to have, truly, just working with your dad, like trying to get something that you're really proud of. Awesome. Really. <laughs> well, let's uh, give what each one a go here. Yeah, what can we what learn about maybe this deep red one? Yeah, so that deep red, that's, that's uh, Marquette, and we know, Jackson, you are talking about your margaritas earlier in the show. <laughs> yeah, so for hopefully this one does walks. something for you. This to me is like your, your steak wine, a little bit stronger, heavier, drier, mm -hmm. uh, really a nice, pleasant red. Um, mm. for it just pairs well with dinner. I love reds. And yeah. what can you pair with this then? You know, um, for me it's it's your classic steak wine. I do like it with pastas and lasagnas. Anything with a red sauce it seems to just bring out the flavors of. But that's just a real pleasant one. Actually at the Minnesota State Fair we've got a bunch of food options as well. We've got like a fried charcuterie on a stick. Ooh. Um, I would have it with that. We've got a wine this. fried brie. We've got wine infused strawberries and chocolates. I mean there's People uh, that come over, they'll, they'll be able to enjoy a, a variety of amazing pairings. So. so amazing. You know, we're running out of time. So when can people find you at the Minnesota State Fair? So we'll be there every day. Um, and in fact, we've got uh, live demonstrations at 3.30 every day about wine making, wine growing, food and wine pairing. And then we've got live music from 6.30 to 9.30 every single night. They've so, got everything. Yeah, I know. Come on out and it's enjoy. a party. Exactly. We'll have our hot girl walk over oh, there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both for being on today. A lot of fun. Thank Good you for bringing this. And so